What's happening YouTube boy Tech Tricks back in that video and today we are looking at the Eufy by Anchor, the remote unlocking and 2K view, a smart lock for your home and also camera as well. Here we go. First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come up to tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can beat that YouTube algorithm. Without further ado, let's go ahead and show you what this thing can do. Here we go. Basically, this is from Eufy. It's a doorbell for your home and also it's a nice smart lock for your, you know, to get you started on your smart home. Here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what this thing can do. Pretty cool device. We're going to install it here today. Show you how easy it is to install. Show you how well designed it is as well. Look at that. This is the lock right here. Pretty hefty device there. There you go. That's the one that goes inside your house. And then back here, up the lock itself right here. So with that, you will have a camera up here and a keypad over here as well. And then this is the doorbell right there. Here it has a plug that comes with it. Some literature right there. There's also these speakers right there so that you can hear whoever um, doorbells at your house. There you go. There's also some batteries right here. And then the inside of the deadbolt right there. Some screws so that you can put it together. Some mounting screws as well. And some keys. And this is what the old lock looks like. Pretty much we're just gonna take off the two screws so that we can dismantle this and get rid of it. Once you've taken it off, it should look like this. This is the deadbolt that came with the box there, the inside of it. We're gonna install this first. If you find that it's too short, that middle black piece needs to be right in the middle of the hole. If you find it too short, you could just twist the deadbolt itself and then you'll be able to make it longer. So that it'll fit in there. Now this is the camera which is going to be outside of your door there. There's going to be the doorbell right here where people can just click there. There's a camera up here as well. There you go. Pretty nice. On top there's a fingerprint sensor as well which is really cool. And then it also has some keypad. You can also punch in your code so that you can go into your house. It also comes with the adapters right here, just wires going in to the back because that's where how it's powered. The bottom has USB-C and also a reset button. Some speakers as well. During the installation, I had to pull the deadbolt, the inside, in and out and maneuver the wires so that it's inside and also the metal piece is right in the middle so that it'll be able to flip the deadbolt. As you could see, it should look like this. You can level it out something like that, but with the bolts, it'll also hold it properly so you don't have to worry about that too much. Now the back is pretty simple device, just a flipper right there so that you can unlock and lock your door. The battery as well is uh, inside this door right here, so you just flip that up and then you'll be able to change the batteries. Inside the door as well, there's the sync button that you can press during installation. Inside this as well, you can connect the cables right here and then this is how you would install it to your door. Here it connect to there and then up there as well. Here this is the frame of the inside. We're gonna bolt this down and screw it up there so that it won't let go. The wire should look like this after it's connected as well. Once everything is all good to go, you just have to plan it like this. Make sure you test out the dead vault if it's opening and closing first. And then we're going to put on the screw so that it won't let go. This is how you install the battery. To charge the battery, you need to plug it in via USB-C cable as well. That'd be good to go. And then lastly, just install the lid by pushing it down like so. Once that's all done, all you need to do is plug it in to the hub like so, right to the wall. 
and then everything will just be synced up and ready to be installed on the app if you were wondering where the, the keyhole will be it's right behind the doorbell slot as you could see there if your doorbell is dead and doesn't have any batteries you can also use your keys to open your lock now to install it on your app you need to install eufy security app right here you need to register and then we're gonna add the device later after that. Once you're done, you're gonna hit that plus button on top there and we're gonna add the hub first. So make sure you do that first or else we won't be able to add the device to the hub. Here, we're gonna look for the QR code. It's probably under the device. And then we're just gonna connect it to our internet and we're ready to go. After we've connected the hub, we're gonna connect the doorbell now. So we're just gonna select the video smart lock right there. And then we're gonna connect it to the speaker hub that we just uh, installed. We're gonna hit the sync button on the back of the doorbell. And then they're gonna generate a QR code here, which will show our camera on the video smart lock. Once you've successfully done that, we're just gonna go through the settings and then we're gonna name the video smart lock. We're gonna put it on the right door. Maybe it's on the front door. In our case, it's on the front door right now. And then we're gonna calibrate the lock, having it close and then hit the calibrate lock and then having it open as well so that when the app knows uh, which way is close and open. The video smart lock also has a passcode lock so you can put a passcode right here which is going to generate four to eight digits passcode so that people can go in using the keypad the other way to get in and is also the fingerprint sensor we're going to put our finger on the fingerprint sensor so that um, when we come into the door we can use the fingerprint sensor to get into our house now that the setup is complete let's show you some footage here's what it looked like during the daytime it's also a 2K video, 2K resolution, so it's really good. At night, it's really nice as well. It's very clear and be able to detect human faces as well, which is really cool. Here's what you see in the app. There's a few features like unlocking your door and locking it through your app right here. You can record and take screenshots of the footage here. And also you can use this to speak to the people on the outside of the door. Um, you can also have quick replies and also have different sounds. Here you can create zones on where it would detect more. You can also change the sensitivity to low to high. You can also change the battery and how much battery you would use you can use it for optimal surveillance balance surveillance and whatever or you can customize it customize the recording to whatever you want you can also have auto lock settings where you would you can schedule it or when you leave it'll also auto lock so i just have mine about five minutes you know, have it on a timer once i leave it'll auto lock so that i don't forget about it you can also customize how much uh, the recording do you want, even the audio recording. Everything will be recorded on a micro SD card, or whatever micro SD card uh, capacity that you have. You don't need any monthlies for this one. They also have a notification where it will detect a human detection, leaving detection, or all the motions. I just put it on all motion so that I could see everything. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice and a brand new smart lock and also doorbell combo for your home this is by eufy if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below so go ahead and check that out make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these i also have one of their products as well on this channel which is the floodlights with the motorized camera so go ahead and check that out i linked it down below as well so go ahead and check that out make sure to hit that like button as well so we can beat that youtube algorithm hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful peace